Welcome back to the Marketing Ninja Podcast with Manuel Suarez, CEO of Attention Grabbing Media and author of number one bestseller, Marketing Magic. I love to use my notes and it never ends. I used to ask my dad, so again, he made 3,000 videos, right? I used to say, dad, would you ever run out of ideas? And he said, never, never. His words, when you're really passionate about what you do, your content is unlimited. It never runs out. You always find ways to keep on talking about things. You can always come back to a subject and talk about it again with more experience and more data, just a new angle to it. So you never really run out of ideas. So I actually pull out my notes and whenever I have an idea, I write it down and I put maybe a little headline or a description of what I wanna cover. For example, this is like a, a running note that I have of things that I wanna talk about. The birth of the brand, Natural Slim's Journey. This is a company that does nine figures a year now. And we never had any outside funding or investors. This is a company that has helped a lot of people. Explore the founding story of Natural Slim, right? How do we do it? Uh, mastering Facebook marketing, content that converts, SEO simplified, and uh, search and optimization, and so on, right? So this is something that never ends. The power of storytelling and marketing, leveraging social media for explosive growth, influencer marketing, and so on. So I have a superpower. My superpower is marketing. It's my ability to teach you guys how to succeed in the marketing game. So I take that superpower and I structure it into little segments of value that I can give you in six to 12 minutes that when you watch it, you're gonna be better just because you watched it. And that is my idea, creating content. Take the information I have and give it away for 10 hours a day. And I just post this content consistently myself on the subject of marketing. And that helps me keep on getting business to my marketing company. People want to be a part of my organization because I'm consistently putting myself out there and showing them how I'm succeeding. I am creating a public relations campaign for social media that keeps on bringing people to my world. And I do this also through emails and text messages and communication platforms. Again, what is my policy? Here's a quiz. What is my internal policy on communication? Block or buy, right? Block or buy. If you're on my list, I'm gonna give you a lot of value. Hopefully, you don't have an impulse to block me, but you're gonna keep on getting that value every day on the subject of marketing. And at the end of the day, you're either gonna give up on me and block me, or you're gonna buy something from me. One or the other is gonna happen, but I'm not giving up on communicating to you. And one thing I'll show you, one more thing that I'll show you to prove a little bit of this case study. So I mentioned to you the podcast, 190 million downloads, right? Who has a, a tough time believing that? So this is Dr. Berg's podcast right here. If you look at the number of plays, how about this for having never done a podcast in his life? 192 million downloads. And the only thing that I did was that in 2017 or so, I actually started taking his audio from his videos and I started publishing them as podcasts. So you see, there's one of those opportunities that if you have content to share and if you have value, if you feel that your information can make somebody else better, so you are being irresponsible by not putting this information out there. I'm being serious. You wanna get out and impact the world. That's how we make the world a better place. What we did was that I used an additional channel that Dr. Berg was not on, which is a podcast, and I said, you know what? I wanna reach the able people. The able people always are busy. They don't have time to be watching videos all the time on Facebook and Instagram and TikTok. I wanna reach them. So if I wanna reach them with Dr. Berg's content or my content, I gotta be on podcasts because they're on the move. They listen when they're working out, they're doing exercises, or they're like cleaning the house, or they're driving, stuck in traffic. That's where I wanna reach them. So I actually got his content on podcast and it took off like crazy. So it's about leveraging those existing opportunities. Hey, thanks for listening. If you enjoyed the podcast, go ahead, leave us a review and subscribe to tune in for future episodes. And if you're looking for a team that'll go above and beyond for you and your brand, go to talktoaninja.com today.